so today I'm going to be vlogging packing up my room. This is so weird. I don't know how to feel. Oh my god, I was supposed to get bags today and I didn't get them. I'm going through my jeans, trying them all on, trying to decide what to bring. It's so weird. I like weirdly don't want to pack them because that means I'm going. Like, obviously I want to move out. I'm really excited to move, but I also don't in a weird way. I'm going to like miss my family. Anyway, here's a look at what I've done so far. So right off the bat, these are all like trousers and jeans that are new and that I wear all the time. These ones over here are trousers that do not fit fit me anymore that I haven't tried on for ages but I just try them on now they don't fit so they're gonna go to like family friends people at my parents work and stuff because I like giving them people that I know and will wear them these are trousers that like I want to keep I don't think I'll necessarily take with me these ones ugh, I can't even bring myself tr to try them on because they're my favorite trousers ever but I know they're too small for me and it's just gonna make me sad so there is no need to try those on and then I have a lot of other jeans that are just way too small for me that I've never got rid of or like that I just never wear. Okay, so so far this is the pile of stuff I'm gonna be giving to like family, friends and stuff. I'm excited because every time they seem to really enjoy them so I just hope these will be like used. It's all stuff that like either doesn't fit me properly or I've just not worn for months and I'm like I'm gonna have less space in my new flat than I do here so I don't want to be bringing like loads of stuff that I'm never even wear. Oh my Oh my gosh okay this is the pile i've pulled out this little bottom bit which is where i shove everything in literally this top container or like section is basically all of the stuff that i still like and i still wear and i do probably want to take with me but i am going to go through it and be selective like tomorrow or something okay this is the finished trouser section it looks like i didn't actually do that much i think i'm now gonna pack i'm watching made in chelsea i'm now gonna pack up like the candles and like the plants over there into a box box and then do more tomorrow tomorrow is like a big sorting day but i'm really exhausted and i don't want to start pulling everything out and actually regretting it halfway through okay next up we have this to tackle which is just annoying because there is so much stuff like these are just birthday cards i've never put anywhere and i need to go through and decide what i'm gonna take with me i also have all of these plants i'm not gonna take them all ow Oh my god, that really hurt! One's like these, I'll take with me because I love these, but like, this one without a plant pot? that one behind so guys it's the next day it's thursday i was supposed to spend the whole day packing and i didn't because i procrastinated you know when something just feels like such a big task that you don't even want to start doing it that's how i feel right now i got these packing bags from just like a they're like laundry bags almost rather than boxes because i'll reuse them like my family use them and boxes feel just like i feel like you can fit more in and like mold it together whereas boxes like i can only fit so many in the car so I got four of those and then actually this is an old odd box box I'm just reusing boxes that we have in the house and then I bought a lot from boots they didn't have any big bags so I had to use these tiny ones <laughs> just so annoying anyway I bought some cotton pads I don't usually use cotton pads but a little loofah because I can't shower without one a little face like wash towel and then I also got some shower gel this looks really nice and then just the classics like mouthwash toothpaste floss because I don't have stinky breath and I I don't want to be stressing today. like it's gonna be so busy i'm not gonna have time just to go to the shop you know more makeup remover i stock up on this every time i go past the shop very exciting stuff now it's time i don't even know where to start maybe i'm gonna start with my coats i don't want to do it maybe it's because i subconsciously like i'm scared about moving that's why i don't want to like do it okay i'm literally having a bit of an existential crisis i have a lot more stuff than i thought i did and i'm literally panicking uh <laughs> so here's random stuff like gym stuff scarves hats that sort of thing and an extra tracksuit then out here i have jumpers actually all the jumpers and then coats this is not gonna fit in my room i actually don't know where this is gonna go but <laughs> Oh my god, I'm literally panicking so much. Maybe I'm gonna turn into a minimalist, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Next up, I'm gonna put all my like beauty products and stuff 
in this box too. So, oh my God, here we go. I have like all of my hair stuff and then I have like extra products that I've been kind of saving. So I'm gonna go through that now. Okay, this is what I have so far. I am literally so stocked up on Olaplex. I have two lots of shampoo and conditioner, which I'm so excited about. I got them through this TikTok ad and I used some of them and then I saved the other ones that I got. So I'm so excited. And then I also have these Aussie ones, which two like these have all been in my cupboard and I just haven't like used because they're not in my shower. And obviously I get sent a lot of shampoo and conditioner. So I just thought I'd start keeping them. Thank goodness. I'm so lucky and grateful that I won't have to buy shampoo conditioner for a while. Then we have the shower gel that I got, toothpaste, that sort of thing, more hair stuff. To be honest, I don't need like three of the same thing. I can just take one, you know. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna put it all in and then decide, do I actually need six shampoos and conditioners or am I being excessive? So guys, it's now Friday and I've barely, barely packed. Look at my wardrobe, oh my God. I'm going through my skirts now. These are most of the skirts I'm gonna leave behind. Like these are so cute, I have like 10 denim skirts. So this is kind of what I'm bringing so far. These ones I mostly just wear in reels. Like three denim skirts, other skirts. The thing is difficult because I don't necessarily wear them every day, but I use them for reals every single day So I kind of need to factor that in when I pack it's stressful. So it's Saturday. I'm feeling very hungover right now. I went out last night, which was a bad idea. And I'm gonna pack a bit more today. I'm doing like it bit by bit, which is actually kind of a lot easier, but it's probably prolonging the pain and the stress. Anyway, today I'm gonna do my shoes and I think I'm gonna go to a vintage shop with Flynn in a little bit. So let's take a look at what I have right now. Okay, so I have this shoe cupboard over here, which I'm gonna take with me and Eva and I will like split. Um, but to be honest, I I think my trainers will fill the whole thing up so I'm not really sure what to do this is like all of the stuff I want to take let me explain rollerblades because <laughs> even though I decided we're gonna take up rollerblading when we move these are like little Doc Martin shoes these are the two boots that I wear out all the time when I go out well to be honest I wear just these ASOS ones found these in my wardrobe again and I love these I think these are ASOS too same with these Urban Outfitters ones green knee-high boots I wear these all the time I also wear them in reels the whole time blue cowboy boots and then my pink cowboy boots. Okay, so those are like boots and shoes. Okay, then here are my other shoes. Oh my god, I think I'm actually overpacking. Definitely gonna have to take some home. Oh well, whatever. It's fine. So I'm bringing three pairs of heels. I don't wear heels very much, so I literally just wear boots. Flynn is currently helping me pack everything up. I didn't show I got new stuff. I got this plate, which Evie told me not to buy, but I'd already bought it. This is really cute. Look. Um, and then in here, fragile stuff, and I'm taking these down and like, I thought I'd document it because this is sad. <gasps> ah! My childhood bedroom is getting ruined. Why? I don't think I'm gonna keep these exact prints, but I'll, I'm just gonna take them with me and then I can order new prints. So. Okay guys, it's Sunday night. I literally cannot find my phone anywhere. No, I can't find my camera anywhere. I'm filming on my phone. I can't find it, but it's probably because I am amongst the biggest pile of stuff. Take a look. Yep, 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 yep. So today I am doing the task, which is probably actually one of the biggest tasks, sorting through my underwear and bras. So over here we have like all the bras that I like that I need to try on and see if they fit anymore. I think honestly half of them won't fit and I don't even wear bras normally. So there's no need for me to keep loads. Then I have literally all the pants that I'm getting rid of and these are the only pants I'm keeping. I have so many like nice lounge bras, which is just so annoying, but they just don't fit me anymore. Like there's some lace ones, which are so cute, but I'm gonna try them on and i doubt they'll fit which is so sad guys i am the biggest bra hoarder and pant hoarder in the world okay i used to have this whole drawer and this whole drawer used to be full to the room like falling out with bras and pants and now this is all that i have Woo! Also, I'm watching Made in Chelsea, as usual. This is literally a bin bag of bras and pants. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna see if any of my friends want, like, the bras that I've not worn. But obviously, I'm not gonna be, like, giving my pants to anyone because that's just weird, so. Oh my god. 
my god guys these are all pajamas this is just disgusting like i haven't seen because i haven't had a pajama drawer for years they've just been under my bed and i wear the same three pairs on rotation look how many there are this is insane so i'm going to go through them all now and i'm going to keep literally maximum like six pairs because this is crazy oh my god okay i think i have managed to like whittle it down a little bit so i have a pile of stuff here that's super old like and then in this drawer if i can get it open these are like the pjs that i'm not going to be taking that i'll probably leave to like use when i come home okay i've moved on to my bag section i'm really on a roll tonight i just want to have all of my clothes and stuff packed so i can chill a bit more tomorrow so i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna max my stuff out at maybe 10 15 bags and i have all of these and also i'm gonna be doing a massive car boot sale i think like february time to sell the stuff that i don't bring because there is no point me like leaving it here but i want to give myself like a month to decide you know like if i really miss something i can come back for it that sort of thing you know okay this is how i'm gonna be like going through it because i use the same like two three bags every single day and the rest of the bags i use like for reals so i'm gonna go through and think am i I gonna use this day to day or for videos and go from there so for example this pink one i always use in like any pink themed reel this one i use all the time too i have three of these like beaded bags and i don't need all three realistically the only practical one is this one because it's like over the shoulder um this one i love too i'm gonna leave it at home though because i don't use it enough it's more of like a travel bag to be fair it's got a zip so this would actually be really useful to like put my makeup and stuff in okay i have this ganny one which which I love but I haven't used so I'm gonna see if I take it I might use it lots or I might not okay so we're getting there these are the bags that I love I have a lot of bags I mean I love all of these bags too but I don't wear them as much so I'm trying to decide the thing is it's difficult with bags like these two they're so similar but they're different a little bit and I can't decide like which one to take because I obviously have my Prada black one too which I wear all the time so I don't need three pretty much identical uh shoulder bag so like i think i'm gonna have to ask my instagram like which one do i take today is the final day before i move and i'm doing like the last few bits i just went and got more bags to put like clothes and shoes and stuff in oh for fuck's sake i forgot bubble wrap too late now what i did get is these which i feel like <laughs> i felt like i was a drug dealer or something buying them but they're just for my jewelry to put in but i saw like in Devonly Castle's vlog once when she went traveling she like stalled her stalled stored her jewelry in these bags so that you don't lose them and they don't break and I thought that's such a good idea and I'm just gonna keep my jewelry in these bags so I'm gonna go through all of my jewelry I've gone through one thing in my jewelry so far and I've kind of gone through like things that fit me things that I love like my gold earrings my favorite necklaces all of that I have so many beaded necklaces so I'm trying to work out like I don't need to take loads with me because I have about a million rings etc etc so i'm gonna go through this now okay so i have been going through my jewelry and like sorting what to keep and this is like the stuff i was gonna take this feels like a lot of jewelry these are kind of like miscellaneous bits and then there's bits over there that i probably won't take with me because i don't wear anymore i'm gonna probably leave this like with some jewelry in here but there's no point in me keeping like random jewelry that i don't have like pairs to or that i don't use you know okay this is my next thing to tackle i have so much makeup i have like stuff for my water bottle incense like palettes it's kind of like off makeup i'm gonna throw away this is stuff that i'm gonna let my sister and mum go through these drawers have just been full of stuff for so long so i'm trying to clear it out so that my family don't get left with drawers full of shit <laughs> so this is my next task oh my god so today is moving day oh we already cried <laughs> 